today we want to look at the prodigal son. What kind of son? Prodigal. He was worthless. He was bad. Luke chapter 15, 11 to 32. Then he said, there was a man who had two sons. The younger said, father, let me have the share of the will. So he divided the property between them. You take this. And the other one didn't want this property. He still lived at home. And the younger son went out and spent the money on a life of sin and debauchery. When he has spent it all, the country experienced a severe famine. The adjective is important. Severe. So it wasn't just a superficial famine. Severe famine. And he began to feel the pinch. He began to say, oh God, money is falling out, running out. Something has happened. So he hired himself as one of the local inhabitants who put him to work on the farm to feed pigs. Imagine you are wealthy. You, I would imagine you are a noble, noble rank. You wasted the money. You made a bad decision. And now you what? Feeding pigs. The pigs are them even better than you. And he would willingly have felt himself he would believe he had filled himself with the husk that fell from the pigs. But no one offered him anything. So before you had money, everybody loved you. No money, nobody is offering you anything. And then in his poverty of spirit, then in his material poverty, then in his nothingness, desperate hopeless situation and sometimes we need to reach that stage because it is in our hopelessness sometimes we find God he came to his senses not only did he came to his senses he started to think how many of my father's paid servants have more than they can right and here I am dying of hunger then he made a decision in his poverty Happy at the point, spirit, this is the kingdom of heaven. I will leave this place and go to my father and say, I have sinned against you and against myself. So poverty of spirit caused him to make a good decision, a productive decision, the best decision in his life. Tomorrow, please God, we continue with this same parable because I want to explain to you the other perspective of the elder son.